Shoot, football playoffs. Gentlemen, let's rewind. Let's rewind. So I'm dating this girl named... Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too far back. Whoa. So I'm dating this girl named... K oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Way too far back. So I'm dating this girl named... Ba whoa, 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 whoa. There ain't no party like a Tito party because it's Tito party. Don't stop. Yeah, yeah. Tito saw the allegations and he'd like to come out and say that they're all true. Bro. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to tingle. I'm starting to tingle. Let me tell you why. You see, it's all Miss season. And we've officially made the playoffs. Last game was our first round of the playoffs. And it was spooky scary. It was not fun. Although, we did squeak that game out 10 to 7. And honestly, every game this season, it feels like we've squeaked out. We're winning by a field goal or a possession at a time. Also, something I'd like to note. It is three playoff wins to make the national championship, not two. I don't know why I thought it was two. So, if you look... Look here, college football playoff round one. That was last game. We won that. We have two wins until the national championship. So I got to win today. If I do that, I got to win the next game. And if I do that, we make the national championship. So it's even harder than I thought it was. But luckily, we've got a spectacular supporting cast. Also, everyone's talking about this. They're saying I should open it because I dropped the 40 bomb. I agree and I will open it. But we've already opened one of these for this season. And I don't want this team to be ridiculously overpowered. I'm going to open this at the start of next season. Cry me a river, build a boat, sail it across the seven seas, and make sure you bring your sister. We've got two games before the national championship. Where can we improve on this roster? Chase Todd at left guard. 83 overall, not going to cut it. Big one. I really like our tight end position. We're good there. I mean, technically, we could get the better Jameis, but Jameis has been really good. Bichon and Justice Ellison are both good. They're not... God squad, but they're good. Jeremiah Smith could technically get an upgrade. Our fullback could technically be a legitimate fullback. Sean Dolich is really nice. Greg Penn is questionable. I think we need to focus on left guard. And, and at this point, I just need God squad players. Like, I need players that are seriously gonna move the needle. There's a 92 Manti Teo. He is the best user in the game. I want that Manti Teo more than anything. You can't fool that guy. It's Manti Teo. Nothing gets past him. Do you believe that we can get one more win? And maybe, just maybe, Take it to the national championship. We're going to find out right now. College kickoff 88 89. All right, that's what Michael Williams is, and he's a dog. Take anything that's a big upgrade. 88 89s on this first wheel spin is huge. Also, don't forget, it's the playoffs. We only get two wheel spins. So we got to make them count, and this first one is definitely going to count. As you're watching this, I'm about to go to Baton Rouge for Alabama at LSU. So if you're at that game, let me know. All right, let's start with the 89s. There is an LT Overton, Savion Williams, TCU, Hunter Wohler, strong safety. Amari Knight left tackle. There's Lyndon Cooper in 89 center. But that's already what I'm doing with Chase Todd. Chase Todd is a center and he's at left guard. You know, this is kind of weird, but I think I take the wide receiver. We're going to take the TCU wide receiver, I think. Yeah, I mean, we can't perfectly knock out any of the position I want to. Here's Savion Williams. A six. Oh, he's shitty. Six, five. Dude, I'm going to have the biggest fucking wide receiver core in the nation. Tedaroa, Savion Williams, and Trey Harris is disgusting. 88 speed, 90 jump. As much as I like Jeremiah Smith, I got to go with this dude. He beats Jeremiah Smith in every single category except deep route running. And Jeremiah Smith got him by a good margin there. Savion Williams, TCU. I did not think I'd be picking up a wide receiver today. Now, this is interesting, though, because Jeremiah Smith was my slot wide receiver. So now I have a, a six foot five Savion Williams as a slot wide receiver. That just doesn't feel right. But I think we got to stick to it. Holden Willis is now wide receiver five. I'm so sorry, Holden. I'm sorry for your fall from grace. Jeremiah Smith is wide receiver four. So we have depth at the wide receiver position now. We we got three 90 overall wide receivers. Nasty. All right, our first wheel spin, 90 overall, six foot five wide receiver. Don't mind if I do. Second wheel spin. Give me a big boy. Give me a 90 up. Ah, maybe. Oh, it's been a minute since I've been on the team wheel. Uh, the team wheel is so big in college football that it breaks this app. So we're, it's really, this is full luck of the draw, but it's team wheel jackpot. Any single player from the Nebraska corner. That's good. That's good. Any single Nebraska player. There's not too much to pick from from Nebraska, but I'm not going to lie. Both of them are really good options for us. Right now, we have a safety at corner three. So Tommy Hill. Oh my God, 84 speed. Who the fuck are you covering? What are, you ex are you exclusively? Don't even look at me. I think we got to go with Makai. Makai Gayboy. What is his last name? Golly, could somebody be named Smith? This is going to be our new middle linebacker too. That's exactly what this. Makai. Uh, do I have to Google it? He's either Makai Gayboy. 
Gayer? <laughs> There's no way. Makai Bayer or Makai Gabayer? I learned nothing. Okay, the reason this is a very good pickup is number one, since we're Ole Miss defense, we run three down lineman sets almost exclusively, which also means we've either got an extra linebacker or an extra DB on the field at all times. Makai, compared to Greg Penn, is a massive upgrade. He will be out of position, but he's still gonna be nasty. Here's the comparison, Makai, same height, significantly faster, significantly stronger, better tackle, play rec block, shaving, hit power. He has lower zone coverage, that's it. All right, gentlemen, we pick up a Horned Frog and a corn husker. in today's episode, heading into our next round of the playoffs. We're still kind of looking for a corner three. We're still kind of looking for a left guard and a fullback, but I, I know this team can compete. We just gotta make the big plays. We can't make any mistakes. I, I think if we play like we played last week, we will lose, 100%. Last week, it was a miracle to get out of that game alive. So let's bring our best ball game and let's earn one more win. Oh, I hate doing this while the game is starting. Oh, I'm already throwing. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to be great. Octopus. Give me the octopus. Yes. I love the octopus. The same player who scores a touchdown must also score a two-point conversion. Jalen Milrow, Magwood, Darquez, Denard. I got to take on a Michigan State legend? Maryland versus Ole Miss for round two of the college football playoffs. Let's get it. Got that home field advantage. I see some terrapins, though. I see some terrapins in the corner. It's a beautiful day for football. First and 10, motions his running back out. Does he throw this running back crap? No, he's gonna step up. Oh, that's Makai. First rep, a tackle on the quarterback. Second and five. Sean Dolich trying to find this tight end. Travis Hunter trying to pick it off. Oh, so close right here. Oh, all right, third and five now. Hand off. Too many bodies, Kenneth Walker goes down. The only reason you run the football there is because you know you're going for it on fourth down. That's why you run the football right there. Yep, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put out a light blue. I'm gonna go on Wade Wooders, my young goat, fourth and four. What do you got, Jalen? Go running back, go running back. No, sir, no, sir, the voice is in my head. They know so much. Shit, that actually was golden. Let's win this ball game. Let's get an octopus early too. Come on, JMO. All right, first and 10. What's the coverage? Oh my God, it's a Bryson Nesbitt touchdown is what it is. Wait, we might have to make a move. We may not have to make a move. Bryson Nesbitt needs the two point conversion to make this an octopus. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's so not gonna work. Shit. I suppose I should have just tried to get the two point anyway. It would've been pretty important, but whatever. First and 10. Hey, get home! Makai! Oh my god, Makai Gayer! Who do you think you are? I'm Gayer! True! Holy shit, he got rocked! That should have been a targeting, an ejection, and a fumble. I have wear and tear from that. Look at Makai. Makai is like half wear and tear because of that. I just ended Jalen Milrow's life! And he's fine? Get the fuck out of here. Trav, take that fucking ball! And tell the voices in your head to pitch him! We're on one today. We're on one today. I might just go get two immaculate boxes. This could be a Bryson Nesbitt legacy game too. There's a lot of things that this could be. Oh shit. It really could be. Wait, we gotta step in front of this. That was, that was immaculate stepping in front of. What I said was a word and it was things. Second and time. Uh, why don't we go a little T-Mac action? T-Mac deep post. They'll never expect it. The feds never see this one coming. Come here, fed. Yoink. No! These really are good throws. All right, third and 10. We're going yard every play. What about Savion Williams? Fuck it. We're going yard every play, he says, as he checks down fourth and eight. What am I doing? Maybe just, maybe just some Jameis nonsense. Ooh, Trey Harris, I like that! Oh, Miss Legend! Don't press him. Fake jet toss? What is this play? Oh, we're gonna have some fun with this one. Fake the jet, throw it. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's the playoffs, baby. Let's lock in. Second and 10. A great throw is all we need here. Beauty. I love that. Savion Williams! Savion Williams! Welcome. Welcome to the team, buddy. I hope you like end zone. And penis! Sorry, my bad. I don't know why I said that. Savion Williams, octopus. Yeah, Savion Williams. Slant route, octopus. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Fuck! He knew. It's like he knew I have the octopus challenge. This guy's a wheel of cut and joyer. First and ten. Gentlemen, do we windows? You have nothing open. Ow! This is my penis! Dude, Will Johnson can hit. God, I love the corners on this team. They're not scared. That ain't no prime time, buddy. That's Mel Blunt. Bro. I swear to God, Tito, if we get another stop on this drive, I'm gonna... 
Oh, I'm gonna do things to you that I can't say out loud. Mm. God, we're hitting. Oh my, we're the Legion of Boom. We're the Ole Miss Legion of Boom. Mothers, hide your daughters. Daughters, hide your mothers. Sons, hide your father's wives. Hide your cleaning supplies, because we're taking you out the kitchen today, brother. First and 10, 12-0. Yeah, you better start handing the ball off. You better start handing, ooh, little Oblivion NPC tackle right there. Someone want to tell me what just happened? That's a hip drop tackle. That's a hip drop. Second and five, second and five, second and five. Makai's looking to make a play, and so am I. Oh, oh, oh! You are gonna fumble. Sean Dolich, minus five speed. Why am I being penalized for rocking the shit out of everyone on his team? Like, why are my middle linebackers getting worse and worse as we're lighting them up? They should be getting worse and worse. You're telling me, kill it? Yeah, this guy basically said, okay, I've thrown a pick almost every play. I'm literally gonna run the ball every play now. Look at this, bro. Makai, wear and tear. Sean Dolich, wear and tear. Oh! Dude, are you seriously, like, handing the ball off every play and running chew clock right now? What's the meta here? Are you hoping that you'll play so annoyingly that I quit? I suppose this is how you made your playoffs, huh? Come on, Lamals! Ah! Get there! Third and four. Good stop, good stop. He's literally chewing the clock. He's, he literally is coming out and handing the ball off every play and chewing the clock. Because this got so spooky. Another chew clock, another day, another dollar. Third and four. Is this a uh, read option, maybe? No, just hands it off up the middle. Fourth and two. Do we get the stop here, gentlemen? Do we get the stop here? Is he going to pass this? He's going to pass it. Oh, he's got the escape route. Oh, he doesn't. He's gonna step up! Oh, I was so close. I was so close, dude. But since Buddy here has chewed the entire clock, I mean, can he even score a touchdown now? Ooh, I'm just outside of that. This is fatherless behavior, bro. Starting your chew clock in the first quarter is so fatherless. Like, I get it. It's football. You, you want to manage it. You want to manage the clock. It's really EA's fault. Whoever thought three-minute quarters was a good idea for an online head-to-head -head football game? Out of your mind. Oh, RPO? To the running back? I invented that fucking play! Don't you ever run that shit on me! RPO pig zone bubble on the goal line! Oh, now you want to use your timeouts, huh? Are you running out of clock because you ran the fucking ball every play? Second and goal! Another RPO. I wish, I wish you had passed that. That shit was so alert. This is why young men in our community need a, a strong male father figure so that they don't chew the clock this early. Unbelievably beta activities, but a nice touchdown. He's probably just gonna try and take off with Jalen Milrow. Probably put out one escape route. Yikes. Dude, look at Makai. Makai is having a great game. Gotta pitch it. We got eight seconds, three timeouts. We pretty much only have one play. Why not take a shot? 12 to six. I cannot believe I just watched someone start a chew clock in the first quarter to put up six points and then kick the ball to me. Gentlemen, all that means is we're gonna win those. It'll be very ironic if I have the ball at the end of this game with the lead. Because then I will be the one putting on two clocks. It doesn't make any sense. Ooh, it just shaded outside. Patience is a virtue, gentlemen. Patience is a virtue. Can we? <laughs> that was yucky. That was nice. Look at famous Jameis. Gunwide stack does not work on him. He has gunwide stack nice and bottled up. Who's on Bijan? Nobody's on Bijan. Our offense is so fluid right now. It's it's so good. It's just we're automatic. All right, not every play. Wide stack has an all go. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm excited to find out. His defense, it's the minute I said our offense was fluid, his defense got really good. Ooh. I really like that. Savion Williams is going to make this fourth and four. I could kick this field goal, but I feel too good right now. I feel too automatic right now. Trey Harris. Whoa, I couldn't even throw it? Oh, he came in completely untouched. Nice. So now what? A shit ton of run plays? And he chews the clock and tries to score. Is he going to start chewing clock in the third quarter, gentlemen? What do you think? Take your bets. Does he run that clock down to a minute 20? He runs the clock all the way down. Some of you motherfuckers need to go outside so badly. This is the most fatherless activities I've seen in a minute. Checks it down to the running back. Monster play. Kenneth Walker is feeling it now. Third and 10. Uh, I'm going to go use that corner route now. He's going to try and throw it again. You think I'm fucking stupid? Damn, Chew Clock's gonna be a bummer now, my friend. Chew Clock's really gonna suck now, isn't it? 
and we started out with a run, Bijan Robinson. We, we showboat a little bit just so he knows fuck you. Now we burn some clock. Look at that little, look at that little mid-game showboat. The, the federales don't want you to know about the mid-game showboat. Say hi! Yeah, got him with the fake snap. Got him with the fake snap. Bijan, fight! Gun spread, double flex, half back direct. I've always wanted to run it. They're niches. Let's go, Bijan! Did I get it? I got it! Damn, Maryland is really wishing that they had more time on this clock. Say hi! Say hi! Be right! Bijan! Ooh, timeout Terrapins! Gentlemen, we call this a satisfying W. Very satisfying W. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna in-step as the user. Ooh, 32. Halfback toss fake jet. This may be a hilariously good play right here. Or do I run a little speed option? Yeah, let's let it go to the two minute warning. I'm gonna run speed option. Actually, no, I'm gonna run RPO peak zone bubble. Let's run a little RPO peak zone bubble. Teach this, teach this man a little something about the play, yeah? I'll teach you a little something about that fucking play. Who do you think I am? Who do you think you are? I am. Gosh, you know what? Maryland, honestly, he could win this game. He just needs a little more clock. Oh, Octopus! Octopus, we need Bijan Robinson! Bijan! Octopus! I'm so horny. I'm literally fucking bricked the fuck up right now. Oh, it feels so good. Challenge wheel complete! 14 point lead! Against a, ch a two clock spammer! And a fumble! Oh my god, I'm in your asshole! I'm so stupid! This game is over! Onside kick fumble? The gods look kindly upon me! You know what else the gods say? The gods say T Mac hasn't touched the ball yet today! T Mac! T Mac! <laughs> you think he figures it out this time? <laughs> Motion double pass! Hey, it's still a good play. Third and five. Savion Williams, legacy game. Um, T-Mac could absolutely murder him on this escape route, because I think they're still, oh, they're not in man. I would love to know how I just got sacked. I don't know what just happened there. Bryson Nesbitt corner route. Dude, I mean, if it's stock, man, like you're fucked. Like, what do you, you can't stop that. Oh, wait a minute. I had a lot of yards to get, huh? Was there a penalty against me? Oh, let's get weird. Oh, please. Three seconds left in the ball game to put up Uno Mas. Yo, if you guys know any Tortas, by the way, send them my way. That's really shocking to me that you would press up Trey Harris on the final. Oh, he's not actually pressed, but that is a touchdown. No! Savion Williams is about to have a legacy game. The Mommy Pounders, 20 to 6 W. It honestly got a little scary there. And I think a game like this really highlights just how stupid three minute quarters is. I don't know why you switch from four to three minute quarters, but if you're gonna do that, make the play clock 20 seconds, not 30. You realize that 30 seconds of play clock and three minute quarters means that anybody could milk an entire quarter in six plays. That's all it takes to burn out an entire quarter is six plays. It's just ridiculous. I did have fun beating him and it was quite satisfying. And I gotta say, we played a really good game. He did stop me that one time on defense, but Jameis 11 for 21, three touchdowns. On the ground, Bijan six for 20, receiving. Savion Williams, our brand new TCU, 62 yards and a touchdown. Trey Harris, 73. Bijan had 25 and Bryson Nesbitt, two for 55. I did not get the ball to T-Mac. Regardless, it was a good game. And frankly, like, I know I'm being a toxic asshole. I do that sometimes, but it's not my opponent's fault. It's EA's fault. And the octopus, the same player who scores a touchdown scores the two-point conversion. Bijan Robinson peak zone bubble into Bijan Robinson. Wheel route out of the backfield. Lands us one pack of our choice from the store. There's a cheeky little not so well-known rule about playoffs challenge wheels. See, in the playoffs, the challenge wheel is a lot harder because you want to win the game way more. So normally during the regular season, we can open any pack that costs coins. The training store is off limits. That is not the case today, gentlemen. Today, I can open any single pack. The playoffs allows me to open one of these if I choose. Legends training is an 86 plus. Heisman Hopeful's an 86 plus. Rising the ranks is an 87 plus. And I'm talking all that shit, but frankly, the senior pack is still better. All right, best case scenario in this, a left guard. If our one really good pull was a left guard, we would be so cracked. Additionally, could get a good prestige option in here. So far, not getting anything, but we'll find out. Very close, my friend. You are a right guard. Also, too low of an overall to be a starter. Oh, uh, we get a Tiger, 80 overall corner. 86 corner Bryce Phillips. A San Diego State Aztec? Something tells me you are not winning the Heisman. Rod Moore, chair of my guys. 
shit, if I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every time I pulled a dupe, I'd have like two or three nickels, which isn't a lot. It's more than one. All right, this play. Da, 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 da. Josiah Stewart is technically a good prestige. I was really hoping for some heat here. Nothing crazy on this senior pack. I don't think we can use any of these. A massive W nonetheless, gentlemen, propels us to one game away. One game away from the national championship. I love you, so does Tito. You're looking very handsome, and I hope you have a spectacular day. Peace.